Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. What I want to cover in this module is how you can create your own filters and then use them in your project tables. So first of all, let's have a look at the filters that you have preloaded. So these on the view tab, these are the filters that all come preloaded. And it says they're at all built in. Down the bottom though, you've got an option for a new filter, which is what I want to have a look at. So if I click on new filter, this box comes up, it wants a name, so I'll call it Steve. And the first one I'm going to do is, I want to know every task that is greater than or equal to 75% complete. So 75% complete. Like that one. And then save that. And then if I apply that, Steve, it sits at the top there. None of these tasks uh, are complete in that way. So I'll just make some of them do that. So if I go and make these two 100% complete, now when I do the filter, they should, those two should appear. So filter, Steve, and there you go. You've got your two tasks that are over 75% complete. Now, if I clear that one off and do another one, no filter, this one, new filter at the bottom, I want to do it on field, so I'll call this Steve one, and this time field name, so I'm going for actual cost is greater than baseline cost. So if I find baseline cost, that's it, save. What I need to do now is save a baseline. So if I go to the project tab and set baseline, set baseline, and there's the first baseline, I'll just use that one, click OK to that. And then if I go to the cost table, view tables cost, you can see the baseline figures just replicate those and the remaining spend is listed there. So that filter at the moment shouldn't pick anything up because nothing is spent. So if I go Steve 1, nothing's there which is good. Now if I make this so something does get spent extra to what was planned so if I increase the duration of one of these tasks, for example, and then make it 100% complete, it should cause a problem. So if I just go back to the entry table and put this to six days and that to six days, and then just highlight these two and make them 100% complete. This is not how I'd normally update tasks, but for this video, that's how I'm, that's how I'm doing it. If I now go back to the cost table, tables cost, I've now got a variance. So if I then put the filter on, Steve 1, I get those two coming up. So this is just a quick way of doing extra filters. If the filter that you want is not in this list, so that one I've just done there, both of those actually, there's no filter there saying greater than 75% complete and there's no filter there saying if your spend is greater than baseline, your actual spend is greater than baseline. I want to see them, see the tasks, and then you can do whatever you need to do having got this information. Now to delete the filters, it's not as straightforward as clicking on the thing and deleting it. So if I right click, I can't delete that. Down here, there's no delete option. What you have to do to clear these filters off or any other customizations that you've done in project is you need to go into either tables more tables and organizer or views other views and then more views organizer so you need to get into the organizer what you've got across the top are all these tabs all the different elements of projects and you need to be on filters but if any other of the tabs have got customizations that you want to get rid of. You just basically click on that section and then delete the things. So under filters, 
these are our two filters that we need to get rid of now you've got to check that they're not in here so Steve one for example is in the global templates so if I don't want it at all I need to delete it in there otherwise it'll always keep appearing on this filter list so I will delete that yes and then you delete it from this file as well obviously don't delete it from the, the these files or from this organizer if you think you're going to need these in future project plants so they're clear off there and the, there's none in the global template so we're clear on the filters and then once you've done that you can close this box down and close that down and then have a look to see if they've disappeared they have disappeared so you're back to square one clear so that's just a quick video of how you can create your own little filters and have them appear at the top in the list above built in and also how to delete the filters if you no longer require them through other views more views and organizer or same place through the tables option so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one